Greetings to everyone in the name of Jesus. I thank God in the name of Jesus for giving me an opportunity to minister in this uh, platform in this gospel conference. Also, I thank Apostle James for inviting me to be as one of the ministers here. So today the Lord will speak to you. The subject is uh, the angelic ministry. Angelic ministry is a ministry that is given to those who seek salvation. Welcome everyone. I, I welcome all brothers and sisters, those who are watching. Uh, God bless everyone. Uh, welcome uh, Sister Frederica Lopez. Um, so uh, this angelic ministry is given to those who inherit the salvation. This is what the Bible says. So uh, if you are concentrated in some other things, you won't be able to inherit the salvation. If you want uh, to uh, possess the eternal uh, life, you have to concentrate in that. Your citizen should, citizenship should be in heaven, not in earth. For such people are given the angelic ministry. So welcome Sister Lopin Al, welcome Sister Jeliza Wolford and uh, all brothers and sisters, those who are watching. So uh, before coming into this uh, live video, um, let us close our eyes to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, let your presence come here. Let there be a breakthrough to everyone, those who watch. You speak into their life. You speak into, into their family. You speak into their um, uh, everything that is acquainted with them, Lord. Only your uh, name be exalted. Give me accuracy in revelation and prophecy. May the power and fire of God be released. May God's power be released. The healing power be released. And everyone be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. So uh, once again, I welcome um, all brothers and sisters, Sister Jeliza Wolford and Frederica Lopez, uh, Sister Lopinwal. So the subject that is given to me is to share with you about the angelic ministry. How many of you know about the angelic ministry? Even some believers, they do not know what is angelic ministry. So it is like if you, have, if you have a servant in your home, what is the servant's duty? The servant's duty is to help you, to take the things to you, to deliver the things for you like that. This is what we can see in the angelic ministry. I know one pastor, man of God, in, his name is Anil Pastor Anil in, in Kerala, in India. Once he needed some finance, so uh, in front of me, he, he told me that he has commanded the angels, he has commanded the angels to get some finance. Uh, I said, why you are speaking so rude to the angels? Uh, he said, otherwise they will become lazy. They are um, assigned to work for us. So he, 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 he told me, he, he told the angel to go around the world and get the finance for me. So this uh, angelic ministry is like those uh, if we are the master and we have servants we will we will uh, command the uh, servants to go there and get something for us to deliver something. So it is like the delivery um, angelic ministry. You have to exercise it. You have to exercise that uh, Otherwise, if you if you won't exercise the angelic ministry in rare cases only, when when only it is in need, the angels may come. So I have many testimonies that many times the angels have visited me. Um, so um, I am telling you, there is one word in the book of Hebrews, chapter. Uh, welcome, Pastor uh, Apostle uh, James. Uh, welcome, uh, Apostle James. So in the book of Hebrews chapter 1, the 14th verse, we can see the angels are those ministering servants assigned to those who, those who inherit salvation. So it is very clear that those who inherit salvation can have the angelic ministry. 
so it is very important if you are if you are here even though in this world your citizenship is in heaven so when you seek the things uh, things of the kingdom the god will release the angels for you it will be easy for you so in the book of uh, exodus also exodus i will read that verse before coming the book of exodus uh, chapter 23 the 20th verse behold i send an angel before you to keep you in the way and to bring you into the place which i have prepared beware of him and obey his voice do not provoke him for he will not pardon your transgression for my name is in him so uh, do not provoke him it is important and you have to obey uh, what the angel says because uh, the angels are sent by god uh, to help us to make us reach uh, the destination you know lot wanted to come out to sodom gomorrah so god knows uh, the attitude of loth god knows before that it will be difficult for loth to come out of sodom so he sent the angels so angels uh, helped loth to come out of sodom gomorrah i know there uh, there was a man of god in india he was his name is dgs dinagaran he is now resting in the lord he once went to the went to the northern parts of india and ministered there after his meeting some of the anti social elements followed him to kill him so he was traveling on the back of uh, another person's motorbike so um, he was uh, when he looked back he saw some people five or six people following in a car so he closed his eyes uh, and prayed to god when he opened his eyes he saw 5 kilometers the bike was 5 kilometers away so it is like that angels will take us to some other place you know um, the um, uh, spirit took uh, philip after ministering to the ethiopian you know the spirit spirit took him to another place likewise the angels will take us to another place i have heard the testimony of uh, another man of god he wanted to go to another nation so actually he did not have the credentials so meanwhile he was waiting for his um, uh, for for his time he went into the toilet so um, when he came out of the toilet he was in in the another country where he was proposed to go so like this miracles uh, we have heard that is all the angels will carry us i also have shared one testimony that i have written i have shared with uh, apostle james and he has written some years back when i was um, pray jesus spoke to me jesus said i am going to take your daughter so i was very sad i cried to jesus no jesus i am very sad i know that uh, you are taking she she will be safe but people will say that i have backslided so don't take her. Uh, but, but after some 3 months uh, so i was continuously praying uh, to jesus uh, to god so to don't uh, take her. so after 3 months uh, i once uh, i i was praying i saw the angel angel he, he's a he is a man he looked like a man and he had somewhat the dress like of a um, uh, a powerful soldier with a good chest and he looked very strong and powerful so um, he was holding my daughter and he was ascending in, uh, in the by the steps um, to towards he was descending from heaven towards uh, me and and he, he was carrying my daughter and said here is your daughter uh, your prayer has been heard and god has allowed uh, to take to release your daughter here so it was an experience and i felt more uh, anointed at that time so i was very happy one one thing is that god heard my prayer and my daughter will be with me the other thing is that i was able to see the angels that that that's why i saw with my eyes in the vision uh, the angels so i was very happy so may, many times uh, when i am in need the angels have taken me to some other place i have felt such kind of experience also in soviet russia in soviet russia Uh, a man of god wanted to minister there but the bible was not allowed there 
so he took the put the bible under some clothes in his suitcase but some one person came to him before the check in one person came please give your bible i will carry it. so um, he was not knowing who this person was but he he gave that bible to him and uh, that person was accompanying him wherever he was checking he was outside that checking but he was carrying the bible when he was about to get inside the plane board the plane uh, that person gave the bible to him then uh, when he, he this minister man of god turned to say thank to that man he was disappeared then he realized that it was an angel so this kind of um, experiences you will have maybe if you are in need of anything you have to exercise the uh, the power of uh, the angelic ministry if that's what angels are uh, uh, hebrews 114 it says they are the ministering servants assigned to those who inherit salvation so you have to don't depend on men but uh, depend on god and god will release the angels if you depend on somebody else on the circumstances god cannot uh, release the angels and god cannot come and help you but you have to uh, seek the help from god directly if you if you seek like that you will see that um, god will be with you god god will uh, honor you so that is the that is the um, uh, way how to get the blessing from the god so if you are in need of anything you have to ask god god it is impossible for me to do and god will release the angels once uh, i had an old some years back when i was in in my years when i was having come into the into belief i had i had an old motorbike at that time and it was the lock was having some complaint so when i parked the bike i cannot go go anywhere so long because it had no lock but um, when i read about uh, god's presence and when i came to know about the angelic ministry um, i used to tell god lord set the angels on guard to keep my bike safe until i come back so when i go to some uh, some long places i will put the bike there and i will pray to god lord you set um, you build yeah i i will pray like this lord i pray and you built a wall of fire around it and set angels on guard so if you pray like that surely god will release the angels with swords and they will guard you whatever you have whatever you believe so it is up to you so today this verse is saying i will i will uh, behold i sent an angel before you to keep you in, in the way so to everyone sister jelisa wolford sister lopin uh, lopin wal and sister federica wapas apostle james to everyone i am telling those who are watching sister deepthi rani and everyone i am saying today the lord is going to send an angel for 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 your safety and for you you to come out of all the hurdles and problems that you face and the angels will keep you safely on the way so you will experience that you you will know that <laughs> many times um, when even even small things we, maybe it is to lose a knot or to open the key door uh, open sometimes it will be very difficult uh, it will be an old key keyhole will be full of rust so when i open it it will be difficult but i tell lord se send your angel and please help me please help me father send your angel to open it so it will be easily done so you have to exercise like that maybe when you go through some places maybe in the dark in, at night it will be very um, uh, very you are alone and it will be very um, very it will late night and you find very afraid so 
you have to ask god to release your angels in psalms 91 you can see what god has said that uh, you you won't stumble the angels will take care of you so today i i look into everyone and say your ministry is an angelic ministry to everyone um, to pastor sadish and all all the welcome and everyone those who are watching i tell you you have to exercise the angelic ministry and it will be easy for you to seek many things uh, to see the deliverance and full of gold i hear the i hear so uh, sister jelin dilon i hear the word and full of gold this is what a hand full of gold i hear the word so so um, i am telling you you have to exercise even in small things maybe you have if you are traveling and the luggage is too heavy too too heavy you you have to ask god god help me help me to send some angels let them carry the luggage so you have to ask god you will see that the luggage will be weightless many many times i am i have experienced like that in many many times even the small things even when uh, uh, once uh, i was driving my car in, in through a uh, forest area and there was suddenly the lights were, were gone and i could not even see the front it was dark so um, i prayed to god i lord uh, let uh, you send your angels and let them guide guide, guide guide let them show me the path after i prayed the complaint was with the bulb it was um, turned off so but immediately the lights came so i experienced that it was the uh, god has sent the angels so i to everyone i am telling you have to even in very small things which you seems difficult even to open uh, to unlock something or to open a door or to carry something uh, luggage you have to tell god god send the angels and and you must uh, believe that the angels are with you so when i am ministering i am not ministering alone on either side there are two angels you might ask why i am saying these two angels one to show me the path and uh, one to show me the path and to tell me the plan of god to to tell me what is god's will and the another angel is to protect me so i believe god has sent two angels for me at this time so one angel will hear from god and tell the things what god is telling and he is speaking to me like holy spirit speaking it is like the holy spirit jesus has said that holy spirit is a comforter jesus has called he is an helper holy spirit as an helper likewise uh, angels are like that they are like the postman you know postman will bring will uh, take the letter somebody is letter that is posted in at, that as in the post office the postman will take it and will deliver it to us the same is the in what god has has to say to us sometimes god will speak to us sometimes the god will send the angels that's why uh, angels visited abraham angels visited um, sometimes uh, angels will uh, speak through your ears the god uh, sometimes god will speak through your ears god will speak uh, into your heart in your mind and you will see visions sometimes god will speak to you face to face but sometimes we can see in the bible uh, instead of god speaking through us instead of holy spirit speaking to us god god will send the angels sometimes it is like that that is the um, uh, agenda of god so uh, now i believe that what i am saying i uh, angel is bringing the message from god and angel is telling me to speak so um, we must we have to exercise like that even in the slightest thing what it seems difficult for you 
every time uh, you must uh, ask god god i am difficult to do this thing send your angels please uh, to carry this luggage to open the door to unlock something whatever that is coming in your daily life you have to exercise if you exercise like that so uh, you will have the angelic ministry one more thing uh, i have to share with you <laughs> uh i am staying in the southern part of india so once i went to, to the northern part of india and uh, i was ministering in one st northern state of india so i was there for some time and i had no money i had no money enough for the travel so before i have read in, in brother dgs dinagaran's book that once when he was he was in need of money because he was a man of god he spent lot of his money for the gospel and when the birthday came for his son he had no money to purchase a um, dress for that boy so uh, his wife complained you you spend all the money for the gospel then why uh, you can you cannot even get a dress for your son but he did not give he prayed the whole night and a er, uh, this is what i am saying from his book the nine gifts of the holy spirit so uh, around 2 am one angel came into his room and said open that box and when he when he opened that box he found some uh, a little money there a little note uh, money there the next morning he rushed to the shop and where the, he, he found a small uh, pants and a coat he sued there and asked the price the shopkeeper said a certain amount and what the angel put there was exactly that amount so i have read this um, uh, this in the, in that man of god's book so after every time when i am in need of money every time after praying i will open my purse i will open my bag i will i will look into the almara Uh, so because i believe that god god will put something but i have not seen it god I did not put because somehow god has uh, uh, gave me in some other ways but when i went to northern part of india i i had a little i was in shortage of money to uh, come back to my place so as usual um, before praying i know that there are only some some money there in my purse so after praying so usually I, i will every time i look after praying i will check my bag uh, my purse everything so this time also after praying i i open my purse um i i i i am saying the angel put the money in my pocket for my travel so th this is many i have many testimonies so um, i tell you Uh, maybe uh, in the instance in the beginning you won't see any angelic ministry but you must uh, not give you must continuously again again ask god god it should come in your as if you breathe likewise you must when any difficult situation come you must ask god lord i want the help of the angels release the angels and they will uh, they will uh, be released immediately so this kind of uh, experience um, i have <laughs> hallelujah so um, uh, it is very important that the angelic ministry is for those who inherit salvation that is what said in the book of hebrews 114 so if you seek any help from anybody else god cannot give you the uh, angelic ministry but if you rely that god is able to help you god will come directly to help you or or god will or god will release or god will release the angel so it is very important so it is very important that you have to rely on god for the angelic ministry or in any 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 help from god if you believe Uh, Psalms 121 says from where does my help come my help comes from the lord who created the heaven and earth so if you see if you are in need of money or if you want the dose for the ministry 
if you think that that person will help me or i will get the money from the god won't release the angels god cannot help you but if you believe, if you say lord i am helpless like the israelites they were in the before the red sea they cannot move forward they cannot go back so in such situations only this angelic ministry comes so it is very important that you you, you should rely only on god if you rely on circumstances there won't be any angelic ministry but if you if you rely on god and tell lord i am helpless i am helpless to carry my luggage i am i am helpless to do the ministry i am helpless uh, to go to that place in such cases the lord will release the angelic ministry so it is very important that if you only you completely rely on god this angelic ministry is operated and this uh, exodus 23 20 is saying god you have to open your inner eyes and see the, this is what the lord is saying hallelujah behold i send an angel before you to keep you in the way when you are watching this video you believe that there is an angel that's why i told i am not ministering here alone two angels are on either of me one to give advice to me from god and another to protect me on the way so here what is behold i send an angel before you to keep you in the way now it is activated now it is activated in you you have to operate it so you are not alone you you have holy spirit with you at the same time the angels are with you also to help you so that is the angelic ministry many people many believers even many uh, preachers they they are not exercising the angelic ministry you have to exercise it it is like um, if you don't exercise it uh, that won't be operated that area won't be operated so it is uh, it is like operating the gifts of the holy spirit sometimes the healing sometimes god will heal people through the gifts of the holy spirit sometimes the angels will come and touch them <coughs> sometimes the angels instead of uh, operating the gifts of the holy spirit god will release the angels of fire and when they go and touch the people they will be they that person's curse will be broken they are healed so in healing in deliverance deliverance ministry also these angels play a role so um, uh, i tell you all brothers and sisters if you are having any curse traditional curse in your family at this moment activate the angelic ministry at this moment activate it because uh, what exodus 23 20 is saying behold i send an angel before you, before you to keep you in the way that is now now the lord has sent an angel to you into your house there, there is angel and into your family the lord has sent the angel so you have to activate it so your life will be easy so i am going to pray for everyone let us close our eyes father in the name of jesus thank you lord for giving me an opportunity to minister in this um, gospel conference uh, lord bless everyone let the angelic ministry be activated let everyone operate in the angelic ministry and let them see with their external eyes literally let them see the angels not only in visions let them see like like uh, uh, directly let them see through their eyes the angels coming and getting messages from lord and delivering and helping them in every area they need let the angelic ministry be activated the lord is telling tonight i will send my angels to you the lord is telling tonight i will send my angels and the lord is healing many people tonight tonight the angels will come with the healing power from god and touch you anyone who is having i sense somebody is having a bronchitis lung problem and somebody needs a uh, eyesight to have uh, somebody is having blindness little blindness tonight the lord is telling 
I will send the angels and they will come with the healing power and touch you and you will be healed. You will be healed. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, deliver everyone from financial problems. Let the doors of the ministry be open. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Shakaram Dista. In the name, let everyone's uh, ministry be extended and expanded and the angelic ministry be activated. Release the power, release the fire, release the angels, Lord. Right now, in the name of Jesus, fill everyone with the Holy Spirit. Let the curses be broken and let everything new started, a new angelic ministry be started. Thank you, Lord, for hearing the prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. So activate in, in case if you are difficult, instead of calling a man of God, I tell you, it is good to call a man of God, but first, when you are in a difficult situation, instead of calling another person, you uh, you tell God, God release the angel. I need the help. Uh, so surely God has already sent the angel. So activate it. So I am I'm thankful. Everyone welcome Rob, uh, Rob brother and uh, everyone, Sister Norma Gassa and everyone. I thank for watching this video. Also, I thank uh, Apostle James for inviting me to minister in this gospel conference. So to, today and tomorrow also, there will be this gospel conference. So everyone watch. And uh, throughout uh, all the sessions, it is uh, speaking about the angelic ministry. So it is your belief and your design. One you should believe that there, there is the angelic ministry. And the other thing is, you must be excited. You must be excited to have the angels with you. So these two things are essential for an angelic ministry. So may God bless everyone. Once again, I thank God in the name of Jesus and all brothers and sisters and Apostle James, everyone I thank. So God bless everyone. Jesus name. Amen.